Hi ho, it's Silver with a simple happiness hack this week, which is happy Thanksgiving. I know that uh, it's kind of a weird time for many people. For me, <laughs> I uh, it's kind of a mixed bag. I try not to look back too often, but I also know through neuro-linguistic programming that much of the memories of this holiday live in my body. And so sometimes things get triggered a little bit. And I imagine that happens to you as well. So I just wanted to let you know that it's really common and that it needn't uh, control your whole holiday as long as you recognize it for what it is. You know, happiness really has to do with the ability to shift the lens through which you see the world. And um, some, <laughs> when I was drinking, my holidays were comprised of, because I was in my 20s at this point, and we would go to the family Thanksgiving dinner, and um, I wanted to manage and control everything. I wanted the table to look a certain way. I wanted candles on the table. I wanted the lights dimmed so that we could, you know, have it be very nice. <laughs> and I come from a family who really all they want to do is eat the turkey and the potatoes and the stuffing and the dressing and uh, st stuffing and dressing, I guess, are the same thing and the gravy and get back to the football games. And it used to really make me crazy. I really wanted to control it all. I was like Martha Stewart on crack, honestly. That's exactly the way I was. And so I had to learn over the years, you know, once I stopped drinking and started really working on my happiness, I had to really learn to pick my battles because honestly, my family is never going to be a family that sits, you know, dressed up nice for the holidays with the cloth napkin on their laps and dabbing at the corners of their mouth. They're not heathens. I mean, they're not eating with their hands or anything, but <laughs> they just want to eat and get back to the game. That's as simple as it is. And of course, I was always really angry because we women were in the kitchen making all of this and then cleaning up afterwards. And why weren't the men in the kitchen helping us? <laughs> and I still think they should, but you know what? I was not gonna win that battle. So, so the only person I was making miserable was me. Now my family will tell you I was making them miserable too, but mostly it was me because uh, I just couldn't accept what was going on. So if that sounds even a little bit like you, I'm just gonna suggest that maybe you shift the lens through which you see the world and just realize how blessed you are to have these people in your life or look and see, you know, if you're home alone, uh, you know, thank goodness that you're someplace safe and comfortable. Maybe you have a pet that you're grateful for, whatever it is you're thankful for this Thanksgiving. But honestly, um, <laughs> Don't be, don't be like me. This is certainly a case where I say I am not a shining example of how to make Thanksgiving great until now, which I am, you know, luckily I married a guy who cooks. So I do the cleaning up without any resentment at all. So um, happy Thanksgiving. I hope it, this gave you a little bit of a laugh. I hope you have lots of laughter uh, during your holiday weekend. And I hope that you use those beautiful eyes of yours and that mind of yours to just look at life and scan for the things that make you happy and just ignore the pe thing, people. Ignore the people and the things that don't. That's it. I'm going to say bye for now. And remember, you deserve to be happy and it is possible. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble, gobble.